So this is me, and this is my book. And this is me holding my book. And this is my book holding me? Who put this? So this is what my book is about, the scriptures, or more specifically, studying the scriptures. Because, that, well, let, let's just face it. It can be a little boring sometimes. Not boring, but, you know, we don't want to admit it, but sometimes it's hard to read scriptures. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I've got to get this call. This is Chaz. Hey, Chaz. It's me, Chaz. Oh. Hey, Chaz. Hey, I was just wondering if you wanted to do a podcast or something. Actually, I'm kind of in the middle of making a book trailer. Oh, you mean for the Scripture Study Made Awesome book? Dude, I'm so there. Well, I've kind of already started, and it's kind of going right now. Oh, great. Well, catch me up. What are we talking about? (sighs) Fine. Well, we were talking about how reading the Scriptures can sometimes be boring. Boring? Who said Scripture Study is boring? Well, nobody said it was, but I mean... We're all kind of thinking it, at least sometimes. Anybody who thinks that obviously doesn't have this book. Look, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, there are so many great ways to read the scriptures that can get you excited and really wanting to read more. How can that ever be boring? Well, I wasn't trying to imply that they're usually boring or that they... Oh, hey, have you told them about the read-a-movie method? Uh, No, I hadn't gotten a chance to... Oh, let me do it, let me do it. Okay, so imagine, people, that you're uh, reading the scriptures and you're reading about, I don't know, we'll say Abinadi, okay? You're reading the verses, and instead of just kind of brushing over them, I want you to picture every single motion that's taking place. Imagine that you're watching the movie, and it's almost in slow motion. It's so detailed with the background, and picture the palace, with the pillars and shining statues and even if you want the leopard go ahead and put the leopard in your picture imagine the expressions on Abinadi's face and and the priests as they're listening to this you can even put an actor on it if you want picture an actor's face your favorite actor playing the part of Abinadi and then another actor your favorite bad guy playing the part of King Noah or something you know get it really detailed and read it as if you're watching a movie I can tell you that's a lot of fun uh yeah, well, thanks, Chaz. Um, now, where was oh, I? I know, I know. I bet you were about to tell them about the family scripture study method where with little kids, where you have them bring their toys in, especially stuffed animals, and have the stuffed animals read in silly voices and everything. Actually, I was going to talk about how they can study based on their interests or hobbies. Oh, but don't forget to tell them all the cool marking methods they can use. They don't have to just underline and bracket and stuff. You can put like stars and smiley faces and write words in and get one of those 12 color pens or... or Wait wait a minute. Uh, First, I kind of wanted to mention how they could create their own topical guide if they wanted. Ah, you're getting into some of the deeper methods, are you? Well, did you tell them about the idea of challenging their favorite scripture where they pick their favorite scripture and then see if they can find a scripture that they can like even more just by studying it and finding out more about it? Or what about the method where somebody who knows a foreign language actually translates the scriptures into that language? And don't forget about all the creative methods, too, like like turning a scripture into a poem or writing a hymn based on a scripture or painting while listening to audio scriptures. Right. Well, either way, I mean, your scripture study should be awesome now, right? Guys, I can tell you, there is no reason to ever get bored while reading the scriptures. There are so many cool ways to do it. That's true. Tell them where they can get the book. Oh, you can get it at uh, uh, chazhathaway.com. Or amazon.com. And don't forget that they can just go into Deseret Book and get it there, or any LDS bookstore. Guys, you don't want to miss out. Starting today, your scripture study can forever be awesome. Okay, I think we're done. We're definitely done. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.